My name's Vader, and I was always searching for the best in cannabis. Well, it turns out, if you want something done right, you're going to have to do it yourself. Welcome back to VaderVision. We are back for another quick update for all the progress that we had going on over the last week. So our chambers, we had the frames up. I had framed out the walls, got some drywall up. We started putting together the chambers themselves, getting all of the paneling set in for the ceiling. We got the floor base plate in and the front plates as well. So looking really nice. Went ahead and for this build, got some fiberglass insulation. We're gonna step it up a little bit with a little bit extra insulation in the walls. We're gonna use this 15 inch fiberglass insulation. We put the studs at 16 inches, could have put them at 24 and saved a little bit on material, but I wanted the extra structural integrity for this particular room. We also have a floor above it. So it just added in a little bit extra stability for that as well. I did shove insulation in the top holes and any little nooks and crannies. And then we went through with a staple gun and we sealed all of the seams with the fiberglass insulation against the studs. Luckily, my father was in town again for another week, so I went ahead and put him right to work. Next step after insulation is setting in all of our Artec panels in the room, get some nice reflection going, and then we sealed it up with some of this foil tape, made sure to cover any screw holes and any extra rips because this was used Artec from our last build, so we were able to recycle it into our new build outs as well. So not looking as pretty as something nice and new, but it does work just as well, so well worth recycling. I did run an outlet box into the ceiling so that we will have access to that for all the pumps and fans in the room once we get the electrical set in and run over to this area. The good news is City did get back to us and we did find out whether or not we needed to upgrade some of our lines and we do. So to run the line through a area that is cemented, we have to dig a trench and we have to avoid some gas lines. So it's a multi-step process. Hopefully it'll be done in the next four to six weeks which is why I did hold off on popping the high one just yet. I'm gonna wait one more week and then get them rolling and we should be off to the races and have no problems. But if I need to get some electrical and run a generator for a couple of weeks while they're in flower, if this does take a little extra time, then no problem. Now it will be a little while until I can get the full how to build a chamber video on up because we need to finish out the rooms first and it will take some time. But for those that are interested, MedGrower1, if you do navigate to my channel and over on the right, you can navigate to MedGrower1's channel, go to videos. And a month ago, he had the breeding room build out pair of videos. There are two part series. I thought they did a really great job on the custom chambers over there. So definitely check it out. A little bit different than the way we build ours, which is the point of all of this, that everybody's space is different. Everybody has slightly different needs for environment. So if you're looking to build some chambers and get some ideas, definitely go check those videos out. Definitely a great resource. Now, flipping on over to our veg area with our moms and dads. Everything is doing well. I went ahead and pulled the water on the tent for the old moms and dads. So we are composting them down and the cocoa. I'm taking all of the excess water and instead of just chucking it, I'm going to take it back to my residence and use it for the plants I'm quarantining. That way I don't have to fresh mix nutrients and it'll be great to reuse that water to keep those girls alive. Now I didn't need the tent in here anymore because we were just using it to shield them during some of the build out. So go ahead and break that down. And then I'm just going to use this little nook area for storage right now. And then we'll end up putting another tray there eventually and probably experiment with some different lights for the bedroom. But for right now, we are still running our eight bulb T5 lamps. All the girls and boys are doing great. This one has a little bit of fading on a couple of the tips, but overall looking nice and healthy. We'll end up transplanting them into some larger pots this next week for sure. And we'll be doing great. Only one that's kind of hurting a little bit is the cookies. So I kept the cookies mom alive, but both are not looking too happy. I may end up getting a replacement cut from a friend that's got a nice healthy mom going, but we'll see how she turns out. Jumping on over to my residence and checking in on our gourmet mushrooms. Now we did harvest out the lion's mane and then we left it for a second round. It looks like it's already popping on up. Our turkey tail, a little slower to get going, but definitely coming along looking really good, nice and healthy. 
So stoked with these ones as well, but they're definitely taking a little bit more time than the lion's mane. Although we're getting some growth on the sides and in the top, so we'll see how they develop over the next couple of weeks. Lion's mane is taking off once again, so we're gonna be able to harvest some more gourmet mushrooms from this batch as well. And then after this series, we'll probably go dump and compost out these mushrooms as we start to build up for our living soil program that will be running here coming up soon. So for those that are interested in organics and living soil, we'll definitely be jumping back into that in the next couple of months once we get everything back up to speed. Checking out our quarantine girls. They're looking like they're doing all right, but definitely had some kind of bug problem. Looks like they might have had some mites. It's to be expected. I did know that Captain threw them outside for a little bit, which is why they were also starting to flower. So we need to re veg them back. I need to give them a transplant. I've been hitting them once a week right now with this plant therapy. I'm going to start stepping it up. I just wanted to see how well it was working. I got this as a recommendation. I am not sponsored by this. If you've used this product before and you liked it, didn't like it, let me know down in the comments. But regardless, we'll find out how it works. In this bathroom though, just hanging a four bulb T5 light. There's only two bulbs on. We're just letting them chill for a little bit, quarantine, get them transplanted into some bigger shoes and we should be doing okay in another couple of weeks. A great example though of why I'm always very strict about quarantine and why I even love to put them in completely separate facilities when I take in new clones because even when someone says, oh, they're absolutely clean, you just never know. You always have to assume they're dirty no matter who or where the source is from. Well, that's it for this update. I'll be back in a week or two once we've made some more progress and we're ready for another update. I want to thank everybody for joining me today and everybody who slams that like button, leaves a comment, even if it's just aloha. Your support goes a long way to helping the channel grow. And remember, hit that bell button because just hitting subscribe no longer works if you really want those notifications. I'll be back again soon enough. So until next time, I'm Vader and I'll see you later.